Welcome to part two. We didn't have enough time, so we're just going to go ahead and keep going. Um, we've got another generic rectangle. Let's see, we've got two pieces, 5W and 2P, and it's a negative because the sign on the left goes with it. And then on this one I have 3W as one term. I have a P plus P and a minus 4. I can tell I need two rows. I need three columns. Multiply it out. 3 times 5 is 15. W times W is W squared. 5 times 1 is 5, and W times P is WP. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. I don't have something to multiply the W by, so it just stays. Okay, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and this is going to be PW. Okay, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. P times P is P squared. Now these two... Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, and there's nothing to multiply the p by. This one's going to be a little trickier because I've got to pull terms together that may not be immediately recognizable. PW is the same as WP, so I know that these two terms are going to combine. And I don't see any other p squareds or p's or w's, so I'm ready to write out what this is going to equal. I don't have enough space on the paper off to the side, so I'm just going to write it here. I have 15 W squared. I have negative 6 and 5. That's going to be negative 1, and I'm going to say WPs. I'm going to have, I'm going to have negative 2 P squared, negative 20 Ws, and then we have plus 8 plus 8 P's. And I've used up all the pieces. The only two I had to combine this time were those two. In the next section, or next part of this section, they're going to give us a challenge. I'm going to throw this in before we start because I want you to see something. They're going to give us a grid like this, and they're basically asking us what goes here, what goes here, what goes here, and here. Well, you got to kind of think about it. Think about what we've got. Um, this one's pretty easy. Because we already know this is going to be 3 times 7. So let's go ahead and put a 21 there. But what number goes here? Well, it's going to be 3 times this number equals 12. Well, 3 times what equals 12? Okay, well, that's going to be 4. Okay, 3 times 4. Now I've got a 4 here. 4 times what? 4 times what gives us 20? Okay, that's going to be 5. And let's see if I can multiply across here. 5 times 7 is 35. Okay, so I could then say this, if I really wanted to write it this way, 5 plus 3 times 4 plus 7 should equal all of these things added. And so what are they? Let's see, 20, 12, 21, and 35. 8, 3, 5, 8. Should equal 88. Let's just do a quick check. What is that? That is 8, and that is 11. And of course, 8 times 11 does equal 88. So we did have, so it did work correctly. So now we're going to bump it up a notch and try doing this with variables involved. Lots to think about here. And so, let's see what we can do. Okay, x, we're going to have to multiply it times something here, and there's going to have to be something here, but x times what would give us an xy? Well, that's got to be y. Let's see if that's right. y times x, or x times y is xy. And then y times what gives us 3y? Three, 3. So my rule's going to be, not my rule, my products or factors, x plus 3 times y will equal xy plus 3y. Okay, let's look at the next one. Oh, I wonder if we can find this one. Did I copy it right? Good. Let's see. 
I know that if I look at this, what do both of these have in common? They both have an x being multiplied. And I'm just going to kind of make an assumption. If this is x, x times what is 12? x times what is 12x, so 12 times x. Now 12 times 5 will equal 60. x times what is x squared? x. And x times 5 is 5x. So let's write out our what we've got here. Let's see, x plus 12 times x plus 5 will equal x squared plus, oh, these two will combine, 17x plus 60. Okay, now, another one in the challenge. And I haven't done these beforehand because this is the lesson I'm doing in advance. Negative 2, meaning number there, 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 something there, there, and there, and there. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what we've got. Negative 2 times what is negative 4? Now that's going to be 2. And I've got an x there, so to make that work, I'm going to need an x. Negative 2 times that equals negative 4x. Good. Now I can do this. Negative 2 times 3 is positive 6y. Negative 2 times what is negative 10? That's just going to be 5. Negative 2 times 5, negative 10. Good. Now let's see. We don't have any numbers on the top. By the way, this is the problem in your book. This negative 3xy is supposed to be right here. And does that... Oh, that gives me the clue I need for this. Let's see. I've already got negative 3 there, so that'd be a 1 times negative 3. And what times y gives me xy? x. Mathematicians don't usually write the 1. But let's see. 2 times 1 is 2. And x times x is x squared. Okay, we've already got the middle term up there. 5 times x is 5x. Let's see what we can combine. Write it out here. Push it up. Okay, x minus 2 times 2x minus 3y minus or plus 5 will equal, let's see, I usually start, I like to start, if you haven't noticed this, with the x squared term. There's two x's here. Those, will com those two will combine, so I'll get negative 4 and 5. That's 1x. Hey, let's see, I used that one. Then I'm going to do plus 6y's minus 3xy's minus 10. And that gives me my answer there. Okay. Didn't leave me much room for the last one, but we'll give it a try shot. X times X, X times what? X times what is X squared? X times X is X squared. Okay. Well, Hmm. Well, let's pick, let's put 6 down here and say that we're multiplying by 6. What would multiply by 6 to get 1? I mean to get 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times x would be 1x. And then this would have to be 6 times x or 6x. So let's write down what we've got x plus 1 times x plus 6 will give me x squared plus these two will combine 7x plus 6. Really quickly I'm going to try to see if I can do this. If I had chosen a number for example like 3 here then this would have had to have been 2, and this would have been 2x, and this would have been 3x. Is that right? 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times x, and I would have gotten 
x squared plus 5x plus 6 as a result of these. So this one really didn't have enough, completely enough information for us necessarily to do it in just one way. Good luck.